Since moving to New York for the summer, I've made it my mission to explore as much as possible during the weekend since I pretty much work all week. So today I thought I would show you guys how I get ready for a day of exploring the city as well as share some clips from my most recent adventure to the Smorgasbord. So let's get started. Lately I've been starting my Saturdays with a nice rejuvenating face mask. The one I have here came in my June BoxyCharm box along with a bunch of other products you'll see in this video. After about 25 minutes, I take the mask off and rub any remaining moisturizer into my face, and then I apply a bit of concealer under my eyes, and then around my nose, and anywhere else that needs concealing. And I like to do this in a triangle shape under my eyes because it's really the best way for me to be able to conceal all those bags that I have and the dark circles that I've got from not getting enough sleep. And then I just apply a little bit of foundation to cover up any remaining blemishes and redness that I have on my face. And after that, it's time to move on to the eyes. So as always, I'm beginning by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I like to do this especially when I know I'm going to be out all day because it helps prevent any creasing in the eyeshadows. Then for the eyes, I'm just taking a bit of a brown shadow and applying that all over the lid, and then I'm actually taking some of my bronzer and using that in the crease to kind of blend things out. And then I'm using this amazing liquid liner that came in my BoxyCharm box and applying this along my upper lash line. And then I'm actually using a small angle brush to smudge the liner out to give it a bit of a softer look, which I think really pulls everything together and creates that dimension without giving too harsh of a line. Then I'm just popping a bit of a light eyeshadow in the inner corner to give my eyes some brightness. And then taking a matte flesh-toned eyeshadow on a fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend out that crease color. Then I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows because I forgot to do that earlier and no look is complete without filling in your brows. And I ran out of my favorite eyebrow pencil so I'm just using a bit of a brown shadow that matches that color. And then the last thing for the eyes is to curl my lashes and after that I always like to tight line my eyes because this really makes your lashes look nice and thick. And then I'm just popping on a couple coats of mascara. And then I'm moving back to my face and I'm going to apply a bit more concealer under my eyes. And then I'm setting everything using this Ofra powder from my BoxyCharm box. And this stuff really helps my makeup stay on all day when I'm out. And a little bit goes a long way so use sparingly. Then I'm taking some of this highlighter which also came in my box and I'm applying that along my cheekbones and this just adds such a beautiful glow to the face. And I'm topping everything off with this stick blush that came in my BoxyCharm box in like February and which I've been obsessed with ever since. And after that, I'm finished with my face. And then the last thing in June's box was this adorable nail polish which I haven't used yet but I'm dying to paint my nails with. So anyway, that's the completed look. I just left my hair messy. These are second day curls, but I just thought they looked nice and undone. And now I'm off to go get changed, and then I'm gonna come back and pack my bag. Oops, um, I'm bringing my powder, some lipstick, and of course my house keys, all the essentials into my bag, and then we're off. So on this particular Saturday, Donnie and I decided to check out the Smorgasbord, which is an open air market where a ton of food vendors gather each weekend during the summer. And the Saturday ones are in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and we live in Midtown, so we hopped on the subway because taking the subway will get you anywhere you're going faster than a cab, guaranteed. And about 30 minutes later, we popped up in Brooklyn. And the Smorgasbord is right by the river, so we had this amazing view over to the city skyline, which I just was in awe of the entire time. And the Smorgasbord sits in this little lot, and you just can kind of spend your day wandering through. We checked out a bunch of different local vendors, and the food we got was absolutely amazing. I have a huge blog post about this, as well as a bunch of nude posts about my life in New York on my blog. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check it out for pictures and life updates since I've been so busy and haven't been able to vlog as much as I wanted to. You can definitely learn more about my life there than on my YouTube channel these days. But anyway, we just had such a great time wandering around and trying the different food. And my biggest recommendation if you're at the Smorgasbord is to pick the places with the longest lines. Because although this sandwich was delicious, the donuts I got later in the day, which you will see, were so good, but we waited in line for those bad boys for like 30 minutes. So we just grabbed our food, we sat out by the river, and we just talked and enjoyed a wonderful summer afternoon, and it was just such a fun thing to do. These are the donuts I was talking about. They are seriously amazing. The name of the place is Dough, so if you're there, you better check them out because they were so good. 
and that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I haven't been filming as much as I wanted to, but definitely a bunch of new fun summer content coming your way in the very near future, so make sure you check back soon, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.